All right, guys, let's see how we can uh, create a container based uh, on uh, Ubuntu and uh, install directly Nginx server. And also we would like uh, to display a uh, certain information inside of our index.html page. So first we start by fetching the official Ubuntu minimal distribution image, uh, which is a small one. And then we are updating the apt repositories. Afterwards, we're installing the Nginx uh, uh, server. We're giving then uh, right permissions uh, to the user and group of WW data uh, to the uh, varlib nginx in order to be able to access uh, this directory the web server now here we're basically injecting a host name a variable and this host name we will get it from uh, the docker compose later while building our services and actually we are appending this uh, data to our index html file and then we're running the nginx uh, server Inside of our docker compose file, we have the following information. Basically, we are creating two services. One is nginx1 and the next one is nginx2. And uh, we are creating a host name for each of them, such as Ubuntu1 and Ubuntu2. And we are exposing port 80 from the first container to the inside of port 8000. So we'll be able to browse this container from port 8000. And the same thing we'll do for the second uh, service or container. We'll be able to browse it on port 8001. Once again, this host name variable Ubuntu1 will be read during the build phase of uh, this uh, container and uh, parsed from the Docker file and will be set uh, inside of the index.html file of the container. Let's now go to the terminal and try to run our services. So just run docker compose up. And as we see, we start with building of the first Nginx uh, container. So first we are pulling up uh, the Ubuntu image. It consists of several layers. Then we are updating the repositories inside of the container. We're setting the proper permissions we are doing everything into one layer in order uh, to save later space. This is already the process of installing the Nginx and what follows is its configuration. Then we see that we are setting up the hostname uh, variable inside of the index.html and uh, the same procedure goes for the second container and then we see something interesting uh, we see that the containers are created but when docker compose uh, is starting uh, the containers uh, we see that uh, they exited uh, so this means that uh, they are not running successfully uh, even if we type uh, docker container list we see that the status is uh, exited let's see how we can uh, fix this error if we go back to Visual Studio Code, uh, we can add the following uh, global uh, configuration uh, by specifying daemon off. This option means that uh, Docker will be able to handle properly the master process of uh, Nginx. So the problem is that uh, Nginx will spawn one master uh, process and then uh, based on it, for security reasons, it will uh, start uh, with the child process with uh, least privileges uh, so we can prevent this behavior by specifying daemon off option uh, so basically this way it should work correctly now let's go back and run again docker compose we'll rebuild uh, the container images so as we see they are recreated and now they should be running correctly uh, we can go to the browser to test if they are created okay those containers and what we have inside of them so if we go to the port 8000 we should be able to access our first container and 8001 is showing the information fetched from the second container if you'd like this whole setup to be even more flexible for kubernetes uh, actually we don't need uh, this external variable uh, host name because it will be picked up 
uh, from the hosts uh, on which uh, we are running those containers so we can directly use uh, uh, this uh, shell environment uh, variable uh, here in the config but that's as i say is for uh, using the docker file in kubernetes configuration all right guys i hope you enjoyed the information and if you like the tutorial you can subscribe to the channel